Hey guys, uh, this is Shiraz from Integration IT, and uh, today I'm I'm gonna demonstrate or I'm gonna share uh, the Avaya WFO customization reports. I mean, basically it's called the customized report, or you can say the ad hoc report reporting, and. Uh, I was working on some troubleshooting part so I thought I should share about the the Avaya WFO ad hoc reporting or customized reporting so basically what you need to do is you need to log into your WFO and then you need to go to the uh, you need to come or the QM interaction uh, please have patience because my internet is kind of slow so yeah this is basically you launched the interaction page where you where you come to listen the call and all the stuff but here you need to go to reports and this is basically uh, the reporting page the it's it, it is developed on the SAP business object I'm not you can click on about to see to learn about more about this reporting but uh, what I want to show oh crap it is SAP business objects and it is blah 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 copyright and you can read about it so let's go, go go back to the document list and what I want to show here is let me take you through the built-in reports they have pretty much number of built-in reports which you can use uh, which you can use uh, accordingly on your on your needs and but some customers are there which they want to develop their own reports according to their own input and they want to have their specific outcome from the report so this is basically the two reports i work mo more more often the quality reports which contains more evaluation reports the assessment reports which has the scoring according to the per agent per evaluator per group per reason there's so many so many reports are there so as i said this is totally based on uh, for the evaluation and there's another report which is a uh, record uh, contacts but basically this is more about the volume of the calls has come to the contact center you want to see the records per agent you want to see the records per call center you want to see the number of incoming or outgoing or the whole in contact uh, contact center uh, number of records a number of calls so these two modules are these two do reporting group is all about but I'll take you through in my other videos but right now what we are for what we are here is for the ad hoc reports or for the uh, customization report so for this you need to click new and click on the web intelligence document and as I said uh, but uh, I mean right now we will do for the context record where we want to see the number of contacts per agents and start time end time a very basic reports so click contacts you always click no otherwise your page will be locked it will not upload I mean it will not load and here we are this is our total blank page with the 
built in modules the reporting modules which you want to have in your report so you can see the outcome okay guys uh, uh, so basically my VPN got stuck and I couldn't do much so first thing first uh, let's say uh, you're looking for a simple reports like the agent and a calls or like a daily report so what num the number of calls you have received by which agent at what time at what certain point or at what certain time and is it incoming or outgoing and what was the agent name and what was his his id so basically my system is integrated to avaya cm it's not on the avaya cs1k so first thing first what i need to do is uh, let me get the agent name come on okay uh, let me just quickly show you how we can easily find you just need to write on the top okay so we can drag the agent name there is one more agent pbx id we are not going to use this one because it does not reflect the right data so i'll just search as a pbx yep this will work because i the other one was showing so many raw data which is not required so this perfectly pulls the agent id as you desire and let's say you want to see the incoming call the number which on which you received i mean from the number you received the call and you want to see the start time of the call you want to see the end time of the call and let's say you want to see the direction the direction just to know whether it was an incoming call or outgoing call great uh, so the next point is how you can populate or how you can give an option for the search field like you have a data you want to pull but now you want to enter the field on which you will provide the input and according to that you will get the output the reports so for that i always use the prompt so basically it reflects as a prompt so prompts mean it will prompt to to put the input so let's say I'll, I'll say prompt for session date and time and what I will do here now is yeah we will run the query now so that's when we will execute our inputs from here you see here it is asking for the input so my input is let's say I'll go back July from first till I'll not pull a long data otherwise it will take time from July 1st to and the month was obviously seven I don't know why they are asking for the month when you already providing the the month and date 
just run query Tada! as you can see you have the agent name and you have that agent pbx id uh, as you can see here what you can see is the name the pbx id the ani the system start time the system end time uh, basically you won't see the time unless or until you go and put to your own formula in a way you want to see it like the minutes hour minutes and seconds so this is very basic or very default outcome you will see here but what I can show you here uh, the direction so direction it doesn't say is it incoming is it outgoing or is it like internal call while well, looking at the caller ID you can easily make it like it's an it's a incoming call but what if I want to see as in like with the name incoming or outgoing so I have already created a formula for that if you see this one what I will do I will just go here and I will say control enter and I will paste my formula here just to verify yes the formula is correct so what is the formula is uh, let me just quickly execute the formula this VPN is so slow come on ok here you go so now you can see what is it, what exactly the call was it was incoming call I mean I'm sure you will you must have some cases where you have some internal calls or outgoing calls or or incoming calls so to go for the next page you need to come here as you can see the different agents and the different IDs Yeah, it all says inbound, inbound. Maybe yep. Yeah. You see here. So these these are our air outbound agents, and apparently they don't have the PBX ID. They are they are integrated integrated with the APC Avaya Proactive. I think for the outbound for the basically a wire dialer basically it is so which is integrated with this ACR and from there all the way we are pulling the the information of the outbound agent so this 01334 is the PBX ID which is configured in in APC dialer so this is the outbound calls and there are some mix again here outbound inbound Uh, just one thing I want to share with you guys that it is officially confirmed that the record the total outcome for the per customized report will not be more than 20 will not be more than 20,000 so suppose if you have calls in a day more than 20,000 but your record will always come maximum till 20,000 this is officially confirmed and it is mentioned in a wire document that at the moment it will not show you more than 20,000 however a wire has already working on it has started working on it and they have 
confirm that this option or this limitation will be removed uh, in upcoming patch and they have officially confirmed that this issue will be resolved and plus any other issue regards to the reports it will it will be removed or it will be fixed so until now i kept checking i mean as i keep checking the 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 patches on the oi website but until now so far they haven't released it they are still under development they are still testing it and hopefully soon i should be able to have this patch so i can apply and get rid of this limitation from the reporting part so this is for now uh, i hope this will help you out uh, if i have more formulas but i will share in my upcoming videos i hope you liked it please share comment and let me know how was it thank you